The end of the traditional light bulb moves a step closer today as the production of the 60 watt bulb is banned. Yes, under EU regulations, no more can be manufactured in an attempt to encourage us to buy more energy efficient lighting. There okay, those are the main stories of this programme. Um, coming up, Penny's going to be assessing another gloomy forecast about the future of the country's economy, this time from the group that represents more than 100,000 British firms. Indeed. Over the next four years, the armed forces are looking to shed 17,000 posts, more than half through redundancies. Today, nearly 2,000 RAF and Army personnel will be told they will lose their jobs in the first phase of those cuts. Well, the armed forces minister... Yes, and just after eight, we'll be getting reaction from Jim Murphy, the Shadow Defence Secretary. Also speaking later in the programme, around about... Also coming up in the programme this morning, plans to improve our oral health. Jenny Hill is at a dentist's practice in Doncaster. Let's go to Blackpool now, because Matt's there. Tom, thanks very much indeed. Thanks very much, Paris. Yes. Um, the end of the traditional light bulb. Have you brought some contraband in, Charlie? Well, this is one of the ones you won't be able to buy no. anymore. Little thing like that, 60 uh, watt. And, of course, people love them because they're so bright. Buy more energy-efficient ones. Yeah, so what do you think of the greener alternatives? Yes. We've been to find out a little more. Yep. People stockpiling as well, buying l hundreds and hundreds, so that it sort of lasts them. Today sees a major change in the law relating to deaths in custody in England, Wales and Scotland. Organisations such as the police and prison service can now be prosecuted for manslaughter under a new criminal offence. In the past, only individuals could be tried. Clive Coleman reports. Uh, getting a few comments on that this morning. Um, I've tried them and I hate them. They're too slow to brighten up and the light isn't the same, says Dominic via Facebook. And Bob Tweed's low energy bulbs are slow to light, won't dim, expensive, rubbish and irritating. But they're here to stay. Just anti at the moment, uh, and we'll see if at the... 7.46, you're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Let's bring you up to date with the main stories this morning, nearly 2,000. Also coming up in the programme this morning, the new project aimed at improving our oral health. Jenny Hill is at a dentist practice in Doncaster, Jenny. Uh, thank you very much. 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 Where is everybody? That's what you're wondering, isn't it? All the people from those... those when are they going <laughs> to arrive at those shops? Start Just, doing business. Maybe they're too nervous because Matt's there putting them off. Penny, um, what have you got for us? Tech big stars in Venice right now because the film festival taking place there? It certainly is. A roll call includes George Clooney and Madonna as well as a good number of British actors as Emma Jones reports. Emma, the next hour. It may not be Venice but it is time now to get the news where you are. See you in a moment. The army reduced by 7,000 and the RAF by 5,000 over the coming years. Well, we're going to speak now. To and the time now is 14 minutes past eight. Let's see what's coming up on the programme today. Big nice, isn't it? Weather, good news. Isn't good it? Yes. And you were just Getting saying better. you'd like him to go down the pier, more and wise style, yeah. bring me sunshine. He's not going to do that. No, he's not. He brought you some sunshine, though. Yeah. A little bit later on. 18 minutes past eight. Incidents of dog thefts in the UK are on the rise with criminals looking to cash in on rewards being offered by the animal's owners. With us now is pet detective Tom. Uh, coming up, BBC News Channel. Here on Breakfast, we're live in Blackpool this morning as its world-famous tower reopens after a multi-million pound refurbishment.